Welcome to the Feel Good Now interview sessions. Today we're here with Karen Patoyan and we're talking about financial planning. I really support what you have to do, Ryan, because I know feeling good is so important. And it's not just a physical, it's also a financial feel good. And it's important to have the basic foundations so that you can have your whole complete picture. Right. Debt is not your friend. Right. Debt is not your friend. Credit cards are not your best friend. Uh, what kids don't know is that companies spend a lot of money mm -hmm. on trying to figure out how to get your money. Right. Kids have money, companies want it. Mm -hmm. And they'll spend lots of money to figure out how they can take your money from you. So you have to be smart. Right. And you have to know, is this really something that I want to give my money my energy towards or is it just something that they want me to buy True. to make me feel good which in event you never feel good with something that you buy you only feel good from within right right that's very good I know that saving sounds boring right but in the long run it can be very very beneficial to you mm -hmm. because credit card debt can ruin you right. but if you take money instead of spending it and you save a little bit and let's say that you only uh, spend, no, let's say that you only uh, save 10% of what you make. Right. Down the line, you'll be a much, in a much better position. They're being tricked right now. They really, really are. They're being tricked. To They're being told, buy this now, get this now, you'll feel good now. Right. If you can have this, you need three iPods, you need, you need this Air, Air Mac, you need, you need these new shoes. You need this, this top that's going to have this name on it that's, right. that's going to make you feel good, but it doesn't. But that's not what it's for, so... It's not what it's about at all. Wow. So what do you, what do you tell a young kid coming up now, 13, 14, okay. who's, who's starting to get into high school? Okay. They're starting to work. What would you tell them? How do, you, how do they save and prepare for the future? Okay, the first thing I would say to them is if you get a small paycheck, take a certain percentage. Right. 10% is a good number. And so if you make $40, put aside four. Right. If you make $400, put aside 40. Put it in an account that is hard to get access to. So you forget about it and that you won't be going into that account. Right. And if you do that consistently, this little pot will grow. And then you'll look at it and it'll feel good. Yes. It'll feel good to see it sitting there, knowing that no matter what happens, I've got this here. This Corporations have already figured out yeah. that the adults know better. They know that, that spending is going down and decreasing in older people. Right. So the only market they really have to access is the younger people. Mm -hmm. And knowing that if they can get them off to this start and get them wanting things that they don't really need. Right. And they know that they have the purchasing power, the younger generation, as compared to the older generation, because they're more in saving modes now. Right. But the younger generation, and if they dig themselves into a hole when you're young, it's so much harder to get out of. Yeah, and the habits that you form when you're young are so important when you get older. Right. 